Joyce Faye. Joyce takes a look is stunning. She matches pink so well, right? So with the pore eraser, I'm gonna butter up my nose for a smooth application. Lately, I've been using an acne product that's been doing my scars bad, but kills the bacteria. So with this sin, my recent routine is to use a dark spot corrector all over my spot, then dabbing it with my fingers. I don't fully blend it out until foundation. But anyways, with a green under eye corrector, I'm gonna blend out these ugly bags. Why do we have bags? It's not like we're waiting for cookies to go in. Rah, dang. I've been obsessing over this foundation, dog. Oh my god. Using a sibling brush, I'm gonna apply this right on. Patting this in motions around will help dispense and buffer that concealer I put under from before. Now, using a brow pencil, I'm filling in my inner area thicker than the outer tail. Her brows are pretty thin, which I was surprised. But regardless, girl be rocking it. I'm just doing what's accessible to my brows. Using a duo like this, or even this old bronzer that's closer to the shade she's wearing, I'm working this from the inner corners out. It's like applying a football shape on your eyes. Joy has pretty simple eyes, so with a lighter highlight shade, I'm brushing this kind of toward the outer end of the football and up to my brow bone. Of course, the eyelids somewhat. After tightlining the eyes, I'm taking a Dolly Winks eyeliner that Pretty and Cute sent me. Thank you. Link below. Apply this right across following the natural shape of your eyes. Once you gather the product on the ends, take your time and slick out a straight tail. Make this pretty long that it's visible like a girl. I can see it from the table across. I'm being flexible, so taking that brown again, sit it on top of the tail, then brush it across the bottom waterline and prep for mascara. Using half lashes from Pretty and Cute, I'm applying this for length. Pretty and natural, right? Woot. For under lashes, it's great to cut up individual lashes and apply them on. Mines are a bit longer than I expected, but that's because I was fine with it. If it bothers you, make sure to cut them shorter. Your face is your fate, and your fate is destined by you and your decisions. Dang, that's deep. I'm just gonna make my jawline more prominent. I was gonna do this, but I figured to go all the way or go home, even though I am home. But now for some blush on the cheeks for a little peekaboo excitement. <laughs> Using a highlighter from this palette, it's great to set my under eyes and bring the light to me without me going to the light. This shade is so pretty! I'm actually giving some pony cosmetics away soon. Anyway, this is a coral pink, but with the layover I'm using on my video, it looks more like an orange. Sorry, don't be alarmed. Now with the orange lip gloss that works perfect for a tint, I'm swabbing this in the middle for content. And you're done. Again, don't hate me because my lips look orange when they're really coral. I'm just saying. I'm gonna do the other look with that funky hair they have, but until then, help me send Jeffrey Fever my recent video. I give you cookies. That was so off topic, but send a love. Bye! <laughs>